so just uh, a few words about myself. Uh, I'm a senior malware analyst at Kaspersky and I'm a part of uh, non-Windows threat research team. And uh, the intrigue is over. Uh, I'm going to speak about uh, Gravity Rat family. Uh, it is a spyware aimed at uh, Indian Defense Forces. Uh, the first discovered sample uh, dates back to 2015. Uh, in 2017, NAC CERT uh, published uh, the first report about this threat. And in uh, 2018, uh, Cisco Talos researchers uh, published a detailed blog post uh, about the evolution of Gravity Red family. Uh, the family uh, has changed a lot since then and uh, is still active. And uh, I will show the latest samples uh, related to uh, Gravity Red campaign. Uh, in 2019, uh, we discovered a new Android spyware sample that uh, was uploaded to VirusToto. Uh, we found out that its authors uh, took the code of the clean app named uh, TravelMate that was available on uh, Google Play and uh, added a malicious module. Uh, they also changed the name of the Trojanized app to TravelMate Pro. Uh, TravelMate is a guide for travelers in India, and uh, its code is available on GitHub. Uh, threat actors used uh, the version published in uh, October uh, 2018. Uh, in uh, Android manifest file of uh, the Trojanized app, uh, there are services and receiver uh, that are absent in the original app. Uh, and uh, on the slide, you can also see classes that contain a malicious logic. Uh, the capabilities uh, of the Trojanized app uh, are typical for Android spyware. Uh, it sends information about the infected device uh, to the common and control server, uh, as well as a contact list, call logs, uh, SMS. It also looks for uh, files with the specified extension uh, on the device. And uh, on the slide, uh, you can see uh, CNC addresses of uh, the sample, uh, n2.notnodates.online and uh, n4.notnodates.online. Uh, we uh, looked for more samples uh, contacting these domains and uh, found a script on uh, VBS uh, that started a PowerShell script uh, named Enigma uh, that contained code on uh, C Sharp. Uh, it is a Trojan that uh, looks for files with the specified extensions uh, on the machine and uh, sends data using post requests to the domain uh, n3.notnodates.online and uh, the same port number as uh, was used in Android version. Uh, we were interested about uh, the origin of uh, this script and found a template of uh, the same VBS script uh, without specified paths uh, called uh, iv.dll, uh, which was inside by installer container. Um, it was an installer of application for file encryption called Enigma. Uh, the Python code uh, contained logic for uh, downloading arbitrary files and uh, dropping VBS script with the path to uh, the downloaded files on the machine. Uh, here are screenshots of the website uh, from which this uh, installer was downloaded. Uh, the website is behind Cloudflare, uh, so uh, it hides real IP address. Uh, it looks quite legit, uh, contains uh, download links for Windows and Mac versions, and uh, the downloaded installer was signed by uh, Yakria Limited in September 2019. Uh, Python was used uh, as the simplest way to make multi-platform app. Uh, the code for uh, Windows and Mac versions is almost the same, and uh, to execute the payload, uh, scheduled tasks are created. Uh, we found uh, several examples of uh, the possible payload uh, from 2018 to 2020. Uh, most uh, of the files were signed 
uh, old plan logic certificate uh, is already revoked, but uh, latest uh, samples are signed by uh, Theravada solutions uh, with valid certificate. Uh, all payload collects and sends data from the infected machine uh, to component control servers. And uh, some versions uh, also have several checks uh, if they run uh, on a virtual machine. Uh, here are common and control uh, server addresses of the payload. And uh, here are addresses of previous Gravity Red campaign. Uh, they use the same port and uh, look very similar. Uh, we checked uh, records for the first found domain, uh, notionupdates.online, um, in our passive DNS uh, database. Uh, it was resolved to uh, this IP address, and we found uh, more, some more suspicious domains hosted on uh, this IP. Uh, we uh, looked for files communicating with uh, this address, and we found a sample uh, with the name uh, zw.exam. Uh, it was created uh, with PyInstaller and uh, contained an encrypted file uh, from which these addresses uh, were decrypted using AES algorithm with hard-coded key. Um, the uh, URI for communicating with the common and control servers uh, is uh, Zulu server.php. Uh, uh, it got the following comments uh, from uh, the server. Uh, it can send uh, information about the machine, uh, look for uh, specific files on the machine and upload them to the server, uh, scan processes, uh, execute arbitrary commands, uh, scan ports, uh, start keylogger, capture screenshots, uh, look for files on uh, USB devices, and uh, upload logs. Uh, there were uh, parts of code for uh, both uh, Windows and Linux. Uh, the Trojan was signed in uh, December 2017 and contained strings that confirmed that uh, it was one more version of Gravity Red spyware. Uh, another very similar example is called rw.exe. Uh, the first letter uh, in the name of the program probably means uh, the name of the server. Uh, R stands for Romeo. Uh, this sample used uh, other CNC addresses and um, it was signed in uh, October uh, 2019 with a valid certificate. And uh, one more example uh, called uh, tw.exam, uh, T stands for Tango, uh, was signed in February uh, 2020 uh, and contained uh, another set of uh, CNC addresses. Uh, these files were payloads, and uh, which program started them? Uh, one more program that had a website that looks uh, quite legit uh, goes up, uh, a software for file compression. Uh, the installer uh, downloaded from this website is a PyInstaller container. And uh, what is interesting in uh, this version, it uh, contains possible names of the payload uh, we have already seen them, them all, uh, and uh, depending on the payload name, uh, it uh, chose a path for the payload and a name uh, for the task in uh, Task Scheduler. Uh, we have found uh, more than 10 different programs that uh, downloaded and executed uh, Gravity Red payload. Uh, here are several examples that uh, are also multi-platform and were, cre were created uh, not with PyInstaller but with Electron Framework. Uh, here is a secure drive, uh, a secure cloud storage, uh, one more secure drive, and some program for creating uh, CVs. And uh, one more version uh, found in the beginning of this year was uh, disguised as an Indian adult comics viewer. Uh, it contained a Windows version on .NET and an Android version. 
Uh, it seems that uh, unlike TravelMate Pro, uh, now the attackers wrote uh, Android application themselves. Um, the malicious module is almost the same as in TravelMate Pro and uh, CNC addresses are the same. Uh, what about distribution? Uh, Gravity Red campaign uh, is a targeted attack aimed at uh, Indian Defense Forces. Uh, in 2019, uh, the Times of India published an article about uh, the previous Gravity Red campaign. Uh, fake accounts in social networks were used for uh, distributing links uh, to the malware. Uh, for example, they asked uh, the victim to install a new secure messenger uh, to chat there. And uh, there were about 100 confirmed victims uh, between uh, 2015 and uh, 2018. Uh, the Gravity Red is uh, not uh, the most sophisticated campaign. It contains a large variety of tools and uh, dozens of active CNC servers. Uh, the uh, most significant change is that uh, the spyware uh, has gone multi-platform. Uh, Windows is not enough for attackers. Uh, they uh, edit tools for Android and Mac. Uh, they uh, create websites with fake reviews and sign applications uh, to make them look legit. And uh, the new campaign, uh, as well as the previous one, uh, remained under the radar for years. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, I'll be glad to answer questions uh, if you have any. Can you maybe tell us, have you uh, observed any the usage of any exploits together with the Android uh, RAT so far? Uh, no, we uh, haven't uh, seen any uh, exploits. Uh, for example, about uh, Android version, uh, the user must uh, give uh, all necessary permissions to the app uh, so that the payload will run.